Hi, today we will see how we can use database select connector to query a database. So to understand using this select connector, let's take an example of select query. Currently we are in MySQL workbench and we have a query to fetch booking information. So let's try to filter the booking information based on the departure date, flight or the PNR. So you can build the query of your choice. So let's try to get booking for flight number 123. So we have three bookings done for this flight number 123. But we have the same PNR everywhere. So let's try to update the PNR. Yes, let's try to save the details. Apply and run the update query. Let's execute the query again and we have the updated details. So let's try to run this query using database select connector. So this is the simple query we are going to execute using the pre-built connector. We have the demo project. So let's search for database connector. So we have different database connector. As we are going to execute select query, let's add select database connector. Let's drag and drop the connector to the configuration file. It's taking time, yeah. We have added the select connector. This we are going to use to execute select statement. Let's start with the basic settings. Let's name it as select bookings. We are going to query for booking information. So this is the query we are going to execute in MySQL server. So let's add the details necessary to connect to MySQL server. We have to add the JDBC information and also the user port and other information which are required to connect to database server. We can add the database. Here we are going to execute a query in flight database. We can add the database information. We can test the connection also. As we previously used these settings and tested, so let's add the details directly and save it. And copy the query from the workbench. This is a query we are going to execute using the pre-built connector. So we have provided the basic information to connect to MySQL server and now we are adding the query. So we are going to get the booking information for the flight number 123. We have the hard coded value as of now, but we have an option to provide these values dynamically. Let's say we are reading the flight number from query parameters or we can read it from variable or the payload based on where uh, you are getting the flight number. So in this example, let's say we are going to read this flight number as part of the input request. So we are going to pass query parameter or flight number as a query parameter and we are going to read it from the attributes. So if we don't get any value, let's uh, provide the default value zero. So ID is the input variable. So let's use colon and the name of the variable. So this way we can provide the values dynamically. Let's complete the flow by adding the listener to listen to HTTP request with default values and path is select. In this flow, we are listening to HTTP request and querying for booking information. So let's try to build the output payload as well. Let's give user the complete mule message in application JSON format. output is of type application json let's try to run the application we'll deploy the application this select database connector will provide us payload that will be array of objects so we can provide user the payload itself or we can provide the complete mule message also we are listening to http localhost 8081 and the path is select so in the select query, we are dynamically reading the flight number from query parameter. So let's try to add flight number in the query parameter. One, two, three. 
okay let's wait for the deployment okay the application is deployed so let's execute the select api we should be able to get the bookings for flight number one two three yes we are getting success response and we have three bookings so as we have previously seen in the workbench we have three records that we are getting as part of payload so payload is uh, giving us the array of objects that is from the select database connector this connector query the database and gives us the array of objects in this case it's array of booking so as we are giving user the complete mule message we are getting both payload and attribute in this case attribute is null and if we try to provide the flight number which is not there in the database or the table we get empty payload because when there is nothing given for the flight number default value is zero so we query for the flight number zero so we are not getting any records if the flight number or when there are no bookings for the flight number so we are getting success response for the flight number one two three and here we can clearly see we have three records in the configuration session we have uh, seen other advanced options where we can control the number of records that we get here there are options where we can set query timeout fetch size and also maximum rows so we can set a limit for maximum rows so if there are lakhs of crores of records we don't uh, want to fetch all of them and we can set the limit so we have set the limit to two records and now we are getting just two records previously we had three records for the flight number one two three and now we are just getting two just because we have set a limit for the maximum rows that we are uh, retrieving yes we got the records as per the maximum rows that we have set in the advanced configuration yes we were able to limit the number of records we get from the connector by setting maximum rows in the configuration currently in this query we are reading flight number dynamically through input parameter let's try to replace this table name also and try to read the table information also dynamically we'll replace the table name and read it from the query parameter just like the flight number so we'll change uh, the query to string expression and we'll replace the table name and read it from the attributes attributes dot query param let's say table so previously we read the flight number as part of the query parameter this time we'll read the table name also as part of the query parameter let's add table table name is booking so let's try to execute IP and we are getting the response let's try to change the flight number 456 yes we are getting the record we can provide the table name along with the database uh, even that box because we are replacing the table name completely with flight dot booking even without the database it works because in the configuration we are already giving the database so in the basic settings we have we have given the flight as a database so this way we can read the parameters dynamically through input parameters and also we can replace other part of the query dynamically if we try to query data from invalid table we get an error this table does not present in flight database so this way we can provide uh, the information dynamically to the query 
so we write the table and also the flight number for where clause dynamically this specific connector is for select operation we can execute select query or store procedure if we try to execute insert or delete queries we get an error yes we are getting an error it says the query must be of type select or store procedure call that's it about select database connector thank you